Hey everyone, so today's video I thought I would do a little um, common misconceptions about um, service dogs. I'm going to do nine of them and it should be great fun. I think you might learn a lot or you won't. Okay, number one. Uh, service dogs must wear a vest or a harness of some kind. Uh, no, in America service dogs aren't legally required to have any sort of identification whatsoever, but most handlers do choose to have their dogs marked because it makes public access a lot easier and you usually have less problems. Number two, service dogs must be registered. In America, there is no certification or registration whatsoever. Um, in I know where I live in British Columbia, we have to apply for certification with the BC government. And then we get our ID card. Three, service dogs never make mistakes. It's not true. Service dogs are dogs first, and then they're service dogs. They will make mistakes. The mistakes through training have been minimized a lot, but they will make mistakes. They might sniff something accidentally. Um, when we talk about our service dogs having a bad day, um, they will not look like your dog's bad day. Um, like, say, a bad day for a service dog handler, oh, their dog was didn't uh, tuck itself under the chair enough and just... Um, was a bit slow in its responses to commands. That's usually a bad day for a service dog handler. Number four, service dogs never get to be normal dogs. I like to think that service dogs get more time to be normal dogs. Chances are after the dogs have finished working, they get to go play fetch, have treats, sleep. They get so much time to just be normal dogs. They live such a good life. The handlers take care of them so well that a lot of the dogs just work for fun. If working was not fun, uh, most of the dogs would not be service dogs. Number five. Only golden retrievers and labs can be service dogs. Not true. Um, there's so many different breeds that can be service dogs. Some are more easy to train than others. Some are harder. Some are meh. You, it really depends on the dog. It really is each dog. A lot of programs do use Labradors and Golden Retrievers and Poodles and German Shepherds because of their trainability. But really, any dog can be a service dog if it has the right temperament. Six. There are only guide dogs, wheelchair dogs, and seizure alert dogs. Nope. Those... All those dogs are service dogs, but not all service dogs are uh, guide dogs, wheelchair dogs, and seizure alert dogs. Uh, there are so many different kinds, autism assistance, uh, mobility, counterbalance, diabetic alert, medical alert, psychiatric. There is so many different kinds of dogs. Seven. Handlers don't let people touch their service dogs because the handlers are rude. That's not actually true. Uh, we don't let people touch our service dogs while they're working because the service dog could miss an alert or um, something might happen. When a dog is with us, they're always working. Some handlers are more lenient than others. Than others. Some will let the dogs be petted when they're just sitting. But other than that, do not ask first and do not be offended if the handler says no. Um, a lot of the time it's very uh, stress triggering for handlers to have random people coming up and petting their dogs. And I, I don't come up to you and pet you when you're sitting at work. So you shouldn't do the same for our service dogs. Therapy dogs are the same as service dogs. No. That is something lots of people believe, but it is not true. Therapy dogs do not have any public access rights, and service dogs do. Therapy dogs are usually with an organization, and they go to uh, hospitals, and uh, I, I have no idea where therapy dogs go. Uh, but they visit a bunch of people and make people happy. 
Service dogs um, don't do that. Service dogs don't provide emotional support. They are there specifically for trained tasks. Uh, they only work with one person as or two if um, you have an autism support dog team where there's the parent and then the child and then the dog. Um, but therapy dogs work with a lot of people, uh, but service dogs only work with their one handler. Nine. Service dogs stop training as soon as they're fully trained. That is definitely not true. A lot of the handlers that I know, their dogs will never stop being training. There will always be something to work on. They might always be adding new tasks. Um, I'm not too sure about program dogs, but I would assume the same. There's always something you need to work on, something that you can be better on. So all the ones I have now, in case you were wondering, yes, I, if you were weird about how I'm doing the numbers and stuff like that, I'm doing it in ASL, American Sign Language, and there will probably be a lot more signing in these videos because I'm learning. I'm really not sure how our posting schedule is going to go. I think we're just going to post whenever we can. A lot of us are, we all are disabled, so we post when we have the spoons or the energy to, and we have interesting things to do. So, see you guys next time. Leave some service dog common misconceptions in the comments down below and we will see you next time so sorry if my speech sounds weird today i uh, don't know if you guys know but i am hard of hearing and i have a uh, central auditory processing disorder so my brain doesn't hear but my ears don't work either so today isn't a great day and i can't really hear myself so i will probably stutter and stumble and say um a lot so just bear with me 